Hi, my name is Adam Ahrens, a senior consultant with the Experts as a Service team at Analysis Prime. Today, I'm going to show how to use the new formulas available for model calculations and the new model type as part of the latest SAC release. In this video, I will cover a brief background of the formulas, how to create the formulas, and then come back and recap what we covered. The new formulas enable the calculation of common time-oriented analysis without the need for multiple calculated measures to achieve the same effect. The new formulas are year over year, a simple moving average, the compound annual growth rate. Now we can move over to SAC and take a look at these new formulas. Inside our model, we're in the uh, calculations management section, and we're going to create some new calculated measures. First, we'll create the year over year analysis. We look at YOY, and it pre populates with the date dimension, which is the driver, and it requires a single measure. We'll use sales. Give it a name. And this is ready. And you can make aggregation adjustments as required in formatting. Next, we're going to look at a simple moving average. The simple moving average, again, requires a single measure. It's driven from the date dimension. And the time elements are year, quarter, or month. We'll look at a year. And we'll look back three years. We'll give this a name. And we'll create our last calculated measure. Next, we're going to look at the compound annual growth rate. We'll use sales. And we'll give it a start year. We'll look at 2020 of our data. And the last year we'll look at is 2022. And then we will give this a name we can look at. And now we can see the results of these formulas. If we look here at a year-over-year -year comparison, we can look comparing 2020 to 2021, we see a 1% growth for the central region. But between 2021 and 2022, sales have been flat. The simple moving average, we look at the actual sales in 2022, and now we told it to look back three years and get a moving average, and we see a slight difference. And finally, the compound annual growth rate, like we told to look from 2020 to 2022 and calculate the compound annual growth rate, which it has done here between these, between these periods. In this video, we saw a brief demo on how to create and use new formulas available to the new model type. The new formulas reduce the calculation burden for popular time-based analysis. Thank you for your time.